Water cycle. The water cycle is a simple circular cycle of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Let's learn how does rain form. When the sun shines, the heat of the sun warms the water, turning it into an invisible gas called water vapor. This process of changing water into water vapor is called evaporation. Since gas is lighter than liquids, water vapor rises up into the sky and they further move into the way from Earth's surface due to the temperature of the gas. So, in the sky the water vapor cools and changes back into tiny water droplets. This change of water vapor into water droplets is called condensation. And it's the opposite of evaporation. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets. So, when condensation occurs in the sky, clouds form and grow. The droplets bang together and form even bigger drops. When the drops get heavy, they fall because of gravity. They even grow and bump into one another on their journey from the cloud to the ground, and every single raindrop reaches the ground, is made of one million of the original tiny water droplets. Raindrops fall on the ground's surface. This process is called precipitation. When the sun can shine on them, and the whole process happens again. This whole process is called water cycle and keeps the water moving from the ground to the sky, fulfilling the water needs of the plants, animals, and people to survive. Let's summarize the steps of water cycle. Evaporation The changing of water into water vapor is called evaporation. Condensation the changing of water vapor into clouds is called condensation. Precipitation The process of water falling from the sky in the form of rain, snow or hail is called precipitation. Water evaporates into the sky and the cycle continues. Thank you. Visit thelearning.com